In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the MQTT client feature of the Cogent Data Hub. I'll start by showing you how to subscribe to data in an MQTT broker. Then, I'll configure a connection that will publish data to the same broker. Let's get started. First of all, I have an OPC DA connection to my OPC server set up. This is important because when we subscribe to data in the broker, we will send the data to the OPC server. Also, in our publish, we will actually be publishing data that comes from our server to the broker. Since we already have our OPC DA connection set up, let's jump in and look at the MQTT client configuration. First, let's look at the subscribe connection that I've already created to my MQTT broker. I'll start out by saying you can use any MQTT broker. In this case, I'm using a broker called Mosquito. Let's open up the connection. We need to start by giving it a label. This is just a friendly name that you assign the connection. I put in the host name of the computer running the broker. You could also put in the IP address. The port is 1883 and I've used the default retry rate of 5 seconds. For authentication, we need to specify our user and our password that we set up in our broker. Because MQTT does not define a message format standard, we allow you to specify a message format when configuring the data hub. This is a free form editor where you can type in whatever you'd like the format to be. These are the placeholders you can use for some of the most common parameters in your MQTT message. Let's click OK. The last thing we need to do is specify the topic pattern that we want to subscribe to in the MQTT broker. The hashtag specifies that you want any and all topics in the broker. So let's click OK. Next, let me establish a connection to my MQTT broker. In this case, I'm using PuTTY to establish a connection to my Mosquito broker. For Mosquito, there's specific formats you need to use to publish data to a client. In this case, I'm using a message I previously configured that I was testing with earlier. Um, I won't really go into the specific format of how to publish using Mosquito. That information is all in the Mosquito help file and is not relevant to this video. You can see that the message format that I'm using here does match what I've configured in the client. We have our topic name, then the topic, the point value, and then the value, the point quality with the quality, and then your point timestamp with the timestamp. Okay. So we're going to be writing a value of 33,751. So let's open up our data hub, view data, and we're going to be monitoring this tag one. So if I hit enter, that should write a value. We saw that value update. Now that value did propagate all the way down to the OPC server and to the device that I'm connected to. You can see here I have a test client connected to my top server reading the same tag 1, which also got the value of 33,751. I can change the value. Let's reset the value here. In this case, we're going to reset it to 1 hit enter, you can see that value changed in my client and my data hub. Now that we've successfully subscribed to data in an MQTT broker, let me show you how to configure the data hub to publish data to the same broker. Let's click add. This is going to be our publish mosquito. Again, we need to give it the host name. Same port. Retry rate. We're going to leave it as default. We have to type in our username and password. And we are going to use the default message format. Now we need to tell it what tags we're publishing. Choosing tags is as simple as browsing from the list on the left-hand side 
and checking the ones you'd like to publish. In this case, I'm going to publish tag 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's click OK and apply. That should go to running. Perfect. Uh, next, we need to actually send um, the mosquito command to show us what is being published. In that case, I can subscribe to all of the topics in the broker, and then I can watch them update. If we go to the view data, we can see here, let's reset tag 2 to 1. Reset this one to 100, 1,000, and 10,000. You can see here that we're now publishing every tag change that occurs in the data hub to this broker. To recap, in this video I showed you how to subscribe to tags in an MQTT broker as well as publish data to an MQTT broker using the Cogent Data Hub.